Leona is actually making your shotguns weaker and it's a pity because this is a unit that I was actually looking forward to. I really like the, the shotgun compositions, I like those teams in general, uh, but this buffer is not really doing. Now let's talk about her kit, this is going to be a full initial review, day one. Uh, things might change and if they do, I will make an updated video. But for now, this is the easiest skip we've had on a while. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm talking levels of almost Rosanna skip. Uh, she is a unit that's literally for wells that want to min max their accounts and not even there, not even there. So we're going to be talking about, uh, well, basic build in terms of cube, priority, skills, uh, overload stats. And then we'll talk a little bit about notes, team compositions and her skills themselves. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to help me grow the channel you'll be having some videos in the background probably when i talk about all of this and let's get started so let's get started with a basic build the basic build is like most shotguns for the cube is going to be bastion now if your bastion is not high level enough your dps take priority over leona your dps need bastion or resilience right you will put on leona whatever they are not using if you don't have more slots but if you can it's going to be bastion if not resilience when it comes to the skills and this is the interesting part there is absolutely no situation or even optimal way of justifying investing in her past 444 and i'm already being generous i will not invest in her i will not pull for her even uh 444 and again we're being generous here unless it's your waifu don't invest in her. When we talk about overload stats, I will not overload her, but if you do, uh, max ammo, attack, and elemental damage, because crit and hit rates, he's already providing with her kit, and we'll see that in a second. Which is speaking of a skill, let's actually get into her kit, and what makes Leona actual uh, shit unit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I I like my Leon girl, my Leonusi, but she's just not up to like any buffer. So let's start with the skill number one, which is Thunderous Roar. This activates after five normal attacks. It's a critical rate buff that stacks up to five times affecting all allies. This will take between 15 to 20 seconds to ramp up on her own if we don't count Nikes that duplicate the count stack of buffs. So for example, if you don't put Tov, if you don't put uh, the new Mika, if you don't put all of those units, right? 15 to 20 seconds, and then she will maintain that. And then also for allies with a shotgun after 15 attacks she will increase the maximum effective range now maximum effective range means that uh, this is useless for pvp since in pvp it's always as far as i know optimal range for all weapons and this can be helpful on some bosses now the thing with the maximum effective range right is if you are doing a full shotgun teams it means that the boss is close enough to you that you can actually make make use of this team because right now we already have five teams in the game when we talk about solo raids we have five teams so there is no way you are making a shotgun team unless it's something like grave digger if we get a stormbringer there is absolutely no situation where you are being like yeah shotgun team and i'm putting leona in here baby <laughs> no way so this is a kind of a counterintuitive part for this skill since you are only doing shotgun teams when you can make use of them right so whatever the critical rate is good is appreciated even the critical rate is not the best buff it can still be useful for some units and in fact and we'll see this through her whole kit this can benefit more other units that are based on crits like even for example 2b if you want and not there's no way we have better buffers for that but even 2b uh, rather than actual shotguns let's Moving to skill 2, and this is the worst part of our kit in my opinion, and this is Courageous Look. This is a passive that activates when entering full burst, which is nice. You don't need to be bursting with her, even though you probably want to. Uh, she will increase hit rate by 20 percent for all allies this is huge once again for smgs and assault rifles rather than shotguns <laughs> for shotguns it also helps a little bit but let's be honest once again if you are close to your target for shotguns you are hitting it doesn't matter and shotguns themselves are not hitting the core so it, it, it's not really gonna help with how much pellets there are uh, to hit more cores right so it's still pretty good but it's a better boost for other weapons rather than the shotguns and then the second part and this is what's uh, making her uh, quite bad when entering full burst affecting two ally units with the highest attack and a shotgun she increases the number of pellets by five now if she's increasing the number of pellets how can she be bad Sophie? well because increasing the number of pellets doesn't mean increasing the damage okay basic things let's say you have whatever two pellets right each pellet doing the same damage 100 now she increases by five every pellet is not making 100 damage now it's divided those 200 it's divided by your seven total pellets meaning you are doing less damage per pellet now why is this bad because depending on the boss and how far it is even with the maximum effective range you will miss more pellets and if you are missing more pellets you are actually lowering the damage of your shotguns overall depending on the boss so this means that there is absolutely no reason to be using leona 
on bosses that are not close to you. If the boss is not close to you, it's stupid to be using Leona even with the maximum range because you are going to be missing more pellets, no matter what you do at the end of the day, right? So the, this part of the kit is what I don't understand and what I think is misleading because why would you not actually increase the damage as well? If you increase the damage and the number of pellets, it would actually make sense to use her on this type of teams. But right now, doing the same damage but increasing the number of pellets means that there is really no reason to be using her if you can actually be lowering the total damage of your other shotguns. This is a little bit stupid and the worst part of her kit in my opinion, but it is what it is. You know, not every unit is going to be busted uh, meta, <laughs> broken on the title. And now lastly, we have the Versus skill, which is Lion's Heart. And this affects all allies pretty, uh, pretty straightforward a burst skill increasing critical damage and critical rate so once again critical rate for critical damage for all allies this can be used for a lot of units not only for shotguns and this is why we say that you know maybe we'll see her as a normal buffer and not in shotgun teams but we already have plenty of buffers so it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than that and then she also increases critical rate for shotguns so that said that is the first impressions of her kit and what she's doing uh, not good honestly like i was saying let's start the video i don't recommend pulling for her i don't even recommend M being unless it's your wife if she's your wife go for it be happy we pulled this morning you have the video i got lucky i one tap her i'm not gonna be pulling more copies i'm gonna be waiting for moran which is the next unit even though she is pvp <laughs> or looks like it's gonna be more pvp I, I will try to get one copy because i really like her i will see how that goes now when it comes to team compositions uh, there's really not a lot of options because we are we have a burst two without cooldown reduction which means you have to use Either wait for your burst to cool or put two burst twos or put an, an off burst cooldown reduction unit, like for example, Summer Helm. Most people are using uh, Leona with the normal setup of you are putting Tove, you are putting Leona, two shotguns, and Guilty or Summer Helm. Both of those teams. Once again, there are just better alternatives for your fifth team in solo raid. So I'm not really sure what's the deal with this unit and in, in the future, if in the future she will get more usage or not. Right now we are getting some units that are completely broken and then we're getting units that their kids doesn't really make a lot of sense. It doesn't look like they're, that they're, their full potential is out or they're just playing bad units. Same with Mika, same now with Leona. It's either monster units that are dealing a lot of damage or really good buffers or completely mid forgettable ones that you can skip now maybe i'm wrong on this one i just think it's not worth it at all do let me know guys what you think about this unit do let me know if you are pulling for her or not for those of you who are pulling good luck hope you can get her soon and not waste a lot of resources here that's it thank you to my patrons for making this content possible you can join them with the links in the description down below good luck with your pull the internet and see you in the next one <laughs> ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。